What the f is up YouTube? Jake with the Export Academy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install the VirtualBox image of Kali Linux. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so to download Kali Linux for VirtualBox, you have to go to www.offensive-security.com. Once you're to the webpage, go to the Projects tab at the top, go down to Kali Linux, and select Virtual Images. Once you're at the Virtual Images page, scroll down about halfway and you will see the different kinds of options you have to install Kali Linux. You have the Kali Linux VMware images, VirtualBox images, and the Hyper-V images. For this video, I want to download and install the VirtualBox image of Kali Linux. So I'm going to select the tab for the VirtualBox images and select which version of Kali Linux that you would like. You have the 64-bit option and the 32-bit option. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to download the Kali Linux 64-bit option for VirtualBox. To do that, just simply click the option that you want and wait for the download to finish. And don't worry guys, if you do not have VirtualBox already installed on your computer, I'm going to show you how to download it and install it for you. Go to www.virtualbox.org forward slash wiki forward slash downloads. Once you're at the download page, select the operating system that you're using from the platform packages list. I am using a Windows 10 operating system, so I'm going to select the Windows host and wait for the download to finish. Alright guys, now that VirtualBox has finished downloading, it's time to run the installer. Installing VirtualBox is a really easy process, all you have to do is click next, next again, next, and don't worry about this little warning here, it's just saying during the installation of VirtualBox that it will temporarily disconnect you from the network, but it's really brief and it doesn't really matter, so just go ahead and proceed anyway by clicking yes, and install. And just wait for VirtualBox to finish installing. And once VirtualBox is finished installing, go ahead and click finish. So now that we have VirtualBox installed on the computer, the only thing we have to do is import Kali Linux. Now you don't have to go through the trouble of doing the hard work of creating a new operating system or any of that stuff because the download that we have is a image for VirtualBox that is already made for Kali Linux. So to go ahead and import that VirtualBox image, go to file, import appliance and go down to this folder button here, click that and browse to where you have the VirtualBox image installed. I have mine installed in the downloads folder and the Kali Linux 2018 VBox file and just go ahead and click the Kali Linux VirtualBox file .ova and click open. Once you have Kali Linux VirtualBox selected, go ahead and click next and click import and VirtualBox will do all the hard work for you. So now the only thing we have to do is wait for the image to be imported and we'll be good to go. Now once Kali Linux has finished importing into VirtualBox, you should be good to go. However, if you're facing any kind of problems booting up Kali Linux inside of VirtualBox, you'll probably need to install the VirtualBox extension pack. If you need to download the virtual pack, it's on the same website as we download VirtualBox at www.virtualbox.org forward slash wiki forward slash downloads. And right under where we download VirtualBox at the platform packages, you'll see a VirtualBox Oracle VM extension pack. And just click all supported platforms. And once that finishes downloading, just go ahead and run it. And you will see a dialog like this. Once this dialog comes up, all you have to do is click the install button. However, for me, it says reinstall because I already have it installed. But for you, the button will say install and just go ahead and install it. And you should be good to go. And that's it guys, it's really simple. Now you have Kali Linux installed on VirtualBox and you're good to go. There's a lot of things that can go wrong, not just with VirtualBox, but with your computer and the installation and stuff like that. Of course, if you're having any problems, feel free to post them in the comment section and I'll try my best to help you out. But other than that, you should be good to go and you should be able to start hacking with Kali Linux inside of VirtualBox. And as always guys, if you found this video useful, please like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.